the Lord, everybody. How you doing? My name is Sister Vanessa, and I, I and this is the Lord's name is to be praised. Ministry. God bless you. From the rising of the sun and the going down of the same, the Lord's name is to be praised. He is so good all the time. Praise the Lord. Uh, this Sunday at ten o'clock, I'll be on on Facebook. We're doing Sunday school for Gospel True Light at ten o'clock. Tune me in on my uh, on my uh, on Facebook. I display the the lesson, the Sunday school lesson, in case you're interested in studying ahead of time. Twelve o'clock, my pastor will be on bringing forth the word. Of uh, uh, pa um, Pastor uh, Superintendent Elder Elder Superintendent uh, Rad uh, Reginald Bradley will be bringing forth the word. And on Tuesday, First Lady Dorothy Bradley will be bringing. She'll be teaching prayer and Baba Band. On, along with our pastor at 12 o'clock on Gospel True Light Church of God in Christ on Facebook. God bless you. We're getting ready to get started. Get your Bibles out. Let's get ready to get into it. I also want to also ask you to, um, to remember a family, a large family in prayer. That's the Bradley family. Uh, pray for the, the family that they had a, 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 in their bereavement. Pray for the whole family. Continue to pray for them. Praise God. And also, uh, remember our sick and shut in, those that can't get out, and remember them in prayer. God is the one that healed thee. Oh, God. And I thank God for all you that are listening to me and taking t taking your time out and listening. We're going to get into, we're going to we're going to study, get your Bibles out, and go into uh, Romans chapter 11. Praise God. Verse 1 through 36. It's a little lengthy, but you can't get too much word. You know, the, the um, Man shall I live by bread alone, but by every word that proceed out of the mouth of God. This is a, a lesson I was, the Lord led me to, to, uh, to speak on. I was trying to get away. I, I looked at it. I was trying to get away from it, but I'm going. I'm led of the Spirit. If you're led of the Spirit, those are the uh, sons of God. So, sons include daughters also. I'm going to praise God, Father. We just thank you for your goodness and mercy. For your love, God, is in joy. All that you've done and all that you're going to do. Lord, have your way in me, Lord God, and those that are listening. Lord God, let the word be applied to my heart that I might not sin against thee. Oh, God, ask you to save me unsaved. Oh, God, the people of mine to hunger and thirst even more for you, Lord God. Oh, God, open up our, up our, our understanding of your precious word, Lord God. And, and Jesus, look out those that are bereaved that are... Uh, uh, that are, have lost loved ones, Lord God, touch their heart. Look on the Bradley family, Lord God. Oh God, we just thank you for all that you've done, Lord. Look on the those that aren't feeling, those that are sick, or even on the corona, Lord. You're the one that healed it. Have your way, Lord God. Look on my home. Look on each and every one that's listening. In Jesus' name, Amen. Praise the Lord, Sister Vanessa. God's not done with Israel at all. Thank you, the Lord. We're going to read about Israel, God's chosen people, the apple of his eye. And he, Hebrews chapter 11 and 1, it says, I say then, this is Paul speaking, has God cast away his people? Those he's speaking about to Israel, Israelites. God forbid. No, he hasn't. God has another plan for the Jews. Praise God. Hallelujah. The Israelites are the Jews. Uh, later on, we can see in the scripture, uh, we see first Hebrew as a, in the New Testament. Later on, it changed over. I can't remember exactly over to the Jews, same people. Okay. For I am an Israelite. This is what Paul is saying. And, you know, he said he's in the, the line of, of, of Benjamin. And and we know that Benjamin line was, uh, was one of the tribes, the 12 tribes, praise God, of Israel. And uh, the father... Was it was Jacob, and Jacob and, and name was changed over to Israel, and he had twelve sons. Praise God! And this son that Jacob had this son by was Rachel. That that's a son name was Benjamin, and that was a gene that was the tribe, the genealogy line from from Jacob, one of his sons Benjamin, and the genealogy line. And Paul was in that line. Praise God! Hallelujah! Praise God! But I. And you know what Abraham was Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And praise God. Isaac had a set of twins. Praise God. Hallelujah. But we won't go into Okay. And so 
So that's uh, what I would say. Abraham's that, that's what it is. Abraham's grand, grand grandson was Jacob. Okay, and Rachel's son of Benjamin. Okay, we have, we've covered that real good. Eleven and two. God has not cast away the first. Has God cast his people away? The Jewish people, you know, because they were blindness. They wouldn't accept Jesus. They rejected Jesus. When Jesus came. Praise God. They had they were, they were trying to do their own righteousness. Hallelujah. As uh, I'm trying to uh, Romans ten. Uh, we go Romans ten and twenty one says, but to Israel he say all day long I have stretched forth my hand unto a disobedient gainsaying people. They are resting on their own works. They're thinking that to to make it in you just you do good works and reject Jesus. They rejected Jesus. Praise God. They rejected the Jews had rejected Jesus, and we're glad they did. And well, God had a plan. He foreknew what, how what they were going to do. Ahead of time, like you know, in our life, what's going to happen? But God had a plan which opened a door for the Gentiles to come in, us to come in. And uh, 10 and 3 says, For they being ignorant of God's righteousness and going about their own, establishing their own righteousness, have not submitted themselves to the righteousness of God. You got to, you have to give, give up, you know, you have to, uh, righteousness, Jesus, our righteousness is filthy rags. But, but uh, we're the righteous of God in Christ Jesus. Praise God. We're going to go a little bit more. We're going to talk a little bit more on that. But let's, we're going to go to verse 2, Romans 11 and 2. God has not cast away his people, the Jewish people, because God had a plan. He foreknew. He knew what they were going to do. Praise God. Uh, want, want ye not what the scripture, don't you remember what the scripture said in Isaiah, which is Elijah, the prophet in the Old Testament, how he made intercession against he told he told God about those people that were disobedient, the Northern Kingdom, uh, saying, "Okay, he was saying uh, what he was saying. See, he he was um, Elijah was telling God about the sinful Israel, and making intercession for God's people, and he was explaining to God by that verse intercession, how the people were were living in sin and and and, and idol idolatry and everything. You know, Northern Kingdom was was had nothing but just wicked." Uh, kings, praise God, and people were following their leaders, praise God. Uh, when the nation of Israel they forsook the Lord and they worshiping Baal uh, under the uh, under under uh, King Ahab and wicked Jezebel, praise God. How then? So they they got away from the Lord, and that that that, that means that they lost their protection and and uh, and had to experience drought, praise God. And Elijah was a a man of like passion like us. He under, he was a like just an ordinary person, but he loved the Lord. Praise God. He had faith in God. He loved the Lord. The Lord used him mightily. And it says here, as the Lord, this is what God gave him to say, as the Lord liveth, he told Ahab, the king at the time on the north in the northern kingdom, as the Lord God of Israel liveth, whom whom before whom I stand. This is God. Praise God. You gotta stand on the word. There shall now be, not be dew nor rain these years, but according to my word. This is, so he said, because of all that living in sin, doing, you know, not serving the Lord. And praise God. And so uh, Elias was, was a man of uh, subject like passion as we are. He prayed earnestly. When you pray earnestly, you're seriously intent. You zero in on praying. You know, no distraction. That, uh, that it might not rain, praise God, and it rained not on earth for space three years and a half. You know, I read the uh, how that, that verse brought up about Elisha, and we, uh, God has not cast away His people. God has a plan for for the Jews, but uh, we're gonna read on down. But God did open the door for the time of the Gentiles to come in. Praise God, Hallelujah! But God's gonna uh, pick up His purpose uh, for. Uh, plan for them. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. We're going to have this a lot in this this year, but it's just a blessing. So we got to say a little bit about Elijah, how he spoke for the people, how they were, uh, they, they fell away from the Lord. They re rejected Jesus, but God had a plan for them. He knew what they was going to do, open the way for the Gentile. Praise God. Us. And uh, Elijah, it's, uh, he received a death threat. God used him from Eli from Jezebel. Since he uh, had 450 of her prophets killed, praise God, hallelujah. And, and Elijah was 
running for his life. He was so fearful after he had a great victory showing who is God, who's on God's side. And who I'm going to show you God's people who's on uh, the, the Israel, the Jews, the Israelites, and who's on the Lord's side. And um, who, you know, who's not. We're going to show, make a difference between the false prophets and the real prophets. And God did that by sending fire from heaven, which left up the, that sacrifice. Praise God. Hallelujah. And the, the uh, prophets were, were killed. And it was a great victory. And then uh, Jezebel was so angry that the wife of um, Elijah, I mean Elijah, the wife of Ahab, excuse me, Elijah's the prophet. Praise God. But then, you know, uh, he ran for his life. And he was crying out and telling God, he, he ran for his life in fear. He was so discouraged that he even wanted the Lord just take him away from here. You know, because he said, I, I'm not worthy. I mean, I'm, you know, let me just read what he says. Hallelujah. Okay. So Elijah had just had a mountaintop experience by uh, getting by defeating those prophets, a bail on Mount Carmel, fire descended from heaven. And people acknowledged the Lord. Pro false prophets were put to death. But, but the experience was followed by an episode of fear and failure in uh, Elijah's life. What he did, he ran from that. He ran for his life from Queen Jezebel. The reason, you know, because uh, uh, Ahab, he told his wife about what, is, what happened. And uh, his wife put a death threat out for him. She sent a messenger to, Eli uh, to Elijah saying, So may the gods do to me and more also if I do not make your life as the life of one. Of them by this time tomorrow it's a threat but God gave victory you know enemy come in like a flood but spirit of lost up a standard against him and so but he ran and, and, and uh, into the wilderness because of the threat praise the Lord and so he was so discouraged and he desired to die and he found that he and he and he asked that he might die he's talking to the Lord saying it is enough it is enough now oh, oh Lord Take away my life, for I am not better than my fathers. Praise God. But God had a plan. God had a plan. God's going to give him victory. Praise God. In response, the Lord sent an angel to, to Elijah to comfort him he, it, with food and drink. And he, uh, after, you know, for him, after he, when I was awakened, after he slept. Uh, and so he, he, that food carried him for a 40 days in the journey of my horror. Praise God. And he was able, he, uh, God came, had talked to him, wondering, why are you here? Praise God. He had all the, God gave him victory. Why are you here? Why are you running away from this lady after that great victory? Praise the Lord. Praise God. And he got so discouraged because it's for his life. Praise, praise the Lord. Praise God. And he was, he, what he said, he thought he was the only one himself. He thought he was the only one that was serving the Lord. So only one that's, 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 that's doing the right thing for the Lord. Elisha saw himself as a long defender of God's name uh, in, of Israel. So Jezebel uh, seemed like she's winning, but she lost. You know, God be for you more than the world against us. Praise the Lord. We're going to read a little further, but it's a couple of, it's James 5 and 18. And, uh, and he prayed again. So he, this prayer was, you know, affection and fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Praise God. So God heard his prayers. And praise God as he, as he prayed. And on the, on the uh, Hebrews eleven three, the Lord, Lord, they have killed. That this is what He's saying. That this is a verified that verse that we that I had read, and uh, um, I think it was verse uh, verse uh, seventeen and one, seventeen and one. Praise God! No, we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna go ahead, people. Praise God! And uh, this is in the New Testament verifying that about uh, uh, Lord, Thou hast killed Thy prophets and dig. Down thy altars, praise God. And I am alone. I think he's the only one that's serving the Lord. He is, and uh, praise God. And then he even, he talked about God, talked to God, made an intercessory prayer to God about God's people, how they were living in sin, uh, idolatry, and doing the wrong things. Uh, but you know what? God had people. He had people that are still serving, that love him. Praise God. Uh, praise God. God has chosen chosen people. He has a remnant. Praise God. Verse 11 and 4. But what says the answer? God said to him, I have reserved to myself. This is the New Testament. Uh, Romans, Romans uh, 4 and 11. I have reserved myself 7,000 men who have not bowed the knee 
to the image of Baal. That's an idolatry uh, idol. Praise God. He has 7,000. Uh, Elijah thought he was the only one serving the Lord. Going through. If you live godly, you'll suffer persecution. So that's a, that's a remnant. God had a faithful remnant. Believing minority. That are serving the Lord. You know, it, it, this living for the Lord is bigger than you. You're, it's, it's serving the Lord is more and bigger than just you. You're not the only one. They got, God has a remnant out there. that are serving the Lord. 11 and 5. Even so then, at this present time, also there is a remnant according to the election of grace. Praise God. The remnant, these were people that got, they, they heeded to the call of the Lord. How God calls, calls us. Praise God. Through His grace. Unmerited favor. Gives you, you don't, we didn't deserve what He's done. Praise God. According to the election of grace. Praise God. He, he's so good to us. The Bible said, if it had not been for the Lord's mercy, we all be consumed, consumed. And his compassion fell not, and great is thy faithfulness. Praise God. Hallelujah. The new every morning. Praise God. God is faithful. All for eternal life. Salvation. Uh, Romans 11 and 6. For it is by, this is God's grace. For, but it's by grace that then it is no more works. Praise God. It's by grace that you're saved. Praise God. Otherwise, grace is no more grace. Praise God. It's not it's work. It's not work. You can't earn it. Praise God. Work works are good deeds. You can't do anything to work, uh, do good deeds to go to heaven. Praise God. You first thing is to give your life to the Lord. Get saved. By grace are you saved through faith. By faith, trust in the Lord. Not of ourselves, lest any man shall boast. Because if you you know you can't boast. Because there's nothing you can do to earn salvation. Praise God. Otherwise, grace is no more grace. You know. But if it be of works, then it's no more grace. If you call yourself thinking you're going to work your way and, and do things to uh, good works, good deeds to make it happen, that's not going to work. Praise God. Otherwise, work is no more work. It doesn't count. It's nothing just because in our flesh well, no good thing. Praise God. So works are, are good deeds. But uh, praise God. We're When I am, praise God, when, I, when you're saved, your works follow you. Praise God. God put in your heart to do uh, uh, works for the Lord. Praise God. It's all about God, but not us. Praise God. Praise God. So you can't work your way uh, works and uh, to go to heaven. It's about God's grace. Praise God. The God's people, the people of God, were trying to be right in themselves, and you can't be self righteous. Praise God. The, you got to have a relationship with Jesus Christ, and, and you know we're saved through faith. Praise God. Through faith. Trust in the Lord. We're faith walking people. With a gesture live by his faith. Ephesians 2 and 8. For by grace are you saved through faith. And that not of yourself. It's a gift of God. Not of works. Lest any man shall boast. If you was you, you, you could earn your way. A person would be boasting. But you can't boast. Praise God. In our flesh well no good thing. 11. Romans 11 and 7. We're talking about the Israelites. Praise God. The Jews. Uh, they had uh, um, Paul is talking about his people, and he's more, he was one of them. God has not given up his of his own people. God forbid, because he's a he's an Israelite himself. Praise God, and God has a plan, future plan for his people. Praise God, praise God, Hallelujah. What then? Israel has not obtained that which he seek after, because it's a faith. You have to be by faith for the election have obtained it, and and the rest are blinded. People reject. They rejected the Lord when He was here. Praise God. We're, and I'm glad that it, God had a plan. He knew what they were going to do. But God's going to graft them back in. Praise God. He opened a, a, a door for us. Praise God. We'll read a, a further on. Praise God. They rejected Him, but it's according to the uh, election. You know, by accepting the Lord. Praise God. God calls us. Praise God. And God is not giving up on His people. They're going to be saved. They're going to come on in. Praise God. But they got to come in the way that we have. We didn't accept Christ. Praise God. They rejected the Lord. And some keep, uh, the election are the believers. You can obtain by faith uh, salvation. Praise God. Uh, Romans 11 8. Praise God. And also that verse I want to say. Go back to ten Romans 10 and 2. For I bear them record. This is what's the problem with the Israelites. Uh, the Jews. Saying that they have a zeal of God. But not according to knowledge. Trying to do everything they think is, is right. 
but not into knowledge. To be fear of the Lord, begin the wisdom. You got knowledge and wisdom come from the Lord. Understanding come from the Lord. For they are they're being ignorant of God's righteousness, rejecting the Lord and going about to try to establish their own righteousness. Have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of God. Praise God. So that verse eleven and seven. What then? Israel have not obtained what they seek for because they have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of God. That relationship with the Lord. Uh, Romans eleven eight. According it is written, God has given the given them the the spirit of slumber because they rejected the Lord. And God will help you not believe. If you don't want to believe, He'll help you. He'll let you stay in that situation. Eyes that they shall not see. There's prophecy in the Old Testament about that. Ears that they shall not hear. They don't want to hear that because of their self-righteous self. Praise God. Trying to find righteousness in themselves until this day. But blindness has come upon Israel. But they're going to, God's going to open their eyes. Praise God. And they're going to acknowledge the Lord. Praise God. Romans 11 and 9. And David said, let their table be made a snare. The word is, I think, is quick and powerful. Praise God. Exposes you. And a trap and a stumbling block, stumbling over the word by rejecting the word, and a recompense unto to them. Praise God, Hallelujah! You know, don't wanna, don't wanna, don't wanna obey the scripture. Don't wanna accept Christ. A stumbling block. Praise God. Praise God. A table made a snare, and a trap. Praise God. Trying to go about your own regular rituals, and the, no, I won't say own rituals, but what's in your own mind. Praise God. And 10 21, trying to go by works. Praise God. Uh, 10 and, and 21. Uh, uh, praise God. But to Israel, he said, All day long I have stretched God, has stretched his hand out unto a disobedient and gainsaying people, complaining. God has been so good. They're resting on their works and rejecting Jesus. Romans 10 and 11. Let their eyes be darkened, praise God, that they may not see. And, and bow down their back, backslide, back, uh, uh, back always. Praise God. Romans 11 and 11. I say then, have they stumbled that they should fall? God forbid. God's going to bring them back. But rather they fall, they fall, rejecting of the Lord. Uh, rather that through their fall, salvation has come unto the Gentiles. It's come to the Gentiles. Praise God. We, we, able, we were able to come into uh the richness and fatness of what the Lord offers to them. Praise God. Salvation through Jesus. Praise God. For by remember rejecting Jesus, I'm not accepting Jesus. We're, uh, we, we, uh, through their fall of salvation, it comes to the Gentiles. For to why? To provoke them to jealousy. To see how the Lord is using the Gentiles and to make them think, wow, we better, you know, light it. Come on, look at how the Lord is using them. I want what they have. That's what the world. You know, we ought to live our, let your light so shine before men they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. We want people to see Jesus in our life. Because, uh, see, the Jews reject Jesus and, and, and their fall, uh, salvation, is come to Gentiles and provoke, like I say, provoke them to jealousy. And we want the world to see, wow, I want what they have. Praise God. Now the fall of them by, uh, by the riches of the world, God has blessed us with rich and precious promises to the people for the people of God and the diminishing of their riches of the Gentiles how much more their fullness there'll be a time where the Jew where the Jews will come in yet God's chosen people out of his eye praise God God will this uh praise God praise God when the, there'll be a fullness that will come in after the the, the, the um, I think we had to read a little further on but uh after the fullness of the Gentiles God that's God God's going to open their eyes one day and they're, they're going to be saved. Praise God. They're coming to be a fullness. Praise God. Hallelujah. I don't know if it's, I can't remember. I'm not too sure if it's in the time of the millennium. Praise God. No, uh, I don't think that's the one. Let me stop back from that one. Praise God. But God will work against them. But one day they're going to be saved. Praise God. They're going to, rec they're going to recognize the true and living Jesus who pierced my hands and feet. Praise God. Uh, and uh, 11, 13. For I speak to the Gentiles, you can't boast because they, God had granted you in, in that, praise God. You just be thankful, thank the Lord. God has uh, allowed you to be in a, to be grafted in. And we're spiritual Israel, praise God. For I speak to you Gentiles, insomuch that I am, you know, this is Paul, he's the apostle of the Gentiles. I'm, I'm just letting you know, I magnify my office, praise God. For 
by any means I may provoke to emulation them that are my flesh and, and might save some of them. Praise God. Praise God. God was, praise God. 11 15. For if the casting away of them, this is the Gentile, be the reconciling of the world, bringing the world back to Jesus, what shall the reconciling of them be from life from the dead? Praise God. God's going to bring a, make a, uh, bring a revival in, his, in uh, uh, the Jews. Praise God. Praise God. God's going to call them back. Praise God. He's going to, they'll be able to, we're going to read a little further. 11, 16. The first fruit be holy. The lump is also holy. Amen. And if the branch, if the root be holy, God, remember the, the, the how about the vine, praise God, the root be holy. The branches are. We got to abide in, the, abide in Jesus, praise God. And there's people uh, that are saved. The, 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 uh, abide in Jesus, male or female, Jew or, or Gentile. Praise God. Abide in the in the in the, the, the branch. Praise God. I mean, the, in the root. And praise God. That the the, the the food and the nutrition. Praise God. Be holy, because of Jesus is holy. Praise God. Praise God. And uh, for first fruit. Praise God. Through Abraham, through Jesus Christ. Praise God. Jesus made it. Hope be holy, for I'm holy. Down on the cross for the sins of the world. Eleven seventeen. And if some of the branches be broken off, this is some of the branches of disobedient of the of, of, of the Jews be broken off. And with us, they talk about the Gentiles being a wild olive branch, were grafted in among them. On the, uh, praise God, the ones that were that had faith and trust the Lord, praise had their relationship with the Lord, and with them partakers of the root and fatness of the richest, precious promises that God offers to the people of God. Praise God. So we the Gentiles are spiritual Jews. Born of the Spirit. Because when we come in, praise God. When uh, praise spiritual and also all that are Jews and Gentiles, we accept Christ. Praise God. But we're spiritual Jews, Gentiles. Praise God. Baptized by God's Spirit, Jews and Gentiles, to the body of Christ. Hallelujah. Romans eleven eighteen. Don't be bragging against the. Don't uh, boast not against the branches. But if thou the branches that fell off. But if do you boast? The ones that turn their back on the Lord. I mean, that, I mean that, that refuse to accept Jesus. Praise God. Thou bearest not the root. Praise God. But the root thee. Praise God. God is. We're, if you abide in the vine. Abide in the vine. Don't speak against in, uh, Israel. Because God's chosen people. We want to be blessed. Uh, you know we, we, we uh, bless it, uh, Israel. We support Israel. Praise God. Do not boast against. Don't be bragging. Saying things that. Right, saying you know against the Jews, those God chosen people, you want to be blessed. Blessed though they bless them, cursed though they curse them. That the Jews, God's chosen people, praise God. God had so good He grafted us in, praise God. And uh, Romans eleven twenty, well, what, be, this is because of unbelief. Why the people, some of them were broken off, praise God. Praise they were broken off. Some of the branches were broken off, praise God. Hallelujah. And we're standing in faith. Praise God. God had grasped us and we stand in faith. Salvation. Be not high minded, but fear. Uh, 11 and 21. For God spared not the natural branches that were, praise God, of that vine. Praise God. Praise God. And take he, he also, that he didn't, you know, you just can't live any kind of way. I'm talking about, uh, you say, God had grafted us in. They were living in, they were, uh, we see, they're living any kind of way and trying to live self-righteous life on their own you can't do it without christ nothing without me you can do nothing praise god the ones that branches that were broken off but they're going to be grafted back in but we were grafted in a wild olive tree but if god spared not the natural branches you got to have a life behind it there's a and that's a judgment he spared not the, the natural branches there was a judgment praise god disobeying the lord praise god so we we got to we, we pray for them. Pray, and God's going to graft them. They're going to come back, graft them back in. He's just so good. He opened up a, a door for us. He uh, For those branches that were, that were taken off. Praise God. They were, and, and grafted us in. So we could, can all, that uh, we can accept Christ. We wanted, you know, ex since they rejected the Lord, uh, they were, we were grafted in. Praise God. Praise God. And he's going to graft the other ones in. Yeah, the, the Jews. Uh, praise God. Behold. Eleven twenty-two, the grad, the goodness and severity. His 
severity of love and obedience. It's all it's based upon conditional. That's what we grafted in. It was accepted of the Lord in our life. It's conditional. You have you know, accept it by living uh by God's word by uh abiding in his word, pray abiding in the vine. Or uh, and upon, upon them severity, but toward thee goodness. For if thou continue in his goodness, otherwise thou shalt not be cut off them each. If you do if you're disobedient, I mean, nobody's saved, and, 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 and you can never, there are people that can backslide and go back out if you, you know, person. But God is able to keep us from falling. But God will, uh, just because you're saved, praise God, you have to, uh, you, I would say a man put his hand fit. If you put your hand to the proud, looking back, you're not fit for the kingdom. Praise God. God's not going to accept any kind of living. Praise God. You could be cut off. Praise God. But God, praise the Lord. Let me see. These are uh, 1 Corinthians 6 and 9. Know ye not that the righteousness, the unrighteousness shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Praise God. Be uh, be not deceived. Don't fool yourself. Neither fornicator think you live any kind of side. So you, if you live for the Lord, them that live God, they will suffer persecution. But when you, when you accept the Lord in your life and have a relationship with the Lord, we got to be holy. Live holy as he's ho holy. Praise God. The Bible says, sanctify yourself in the very God of peace. Sanctify your holy. Can't live unholy lives if you, uh, and when God has opened the door for us to be grafted in, praise God. Salvation is offer, praise God. A new creature, born again spiritually. And looking back, you're not even fit for the kingdom, praise God. Can't live any kind of way, praise God. But God has cleaned us. He sanctified, he justified us, praise God. He made it right, made it right, as though we had never sinned, praise God, to justify us. Praise God, hallelujah, by his spirit. And he's not going to tolerate us living, you know, a person except the Lord will live any kind of way. You'll be, you be cast out of that, of that, uh, cast, the branch be cast out of the, from the root. I mean, uh, out of that, uh, yeah, branches cast out. And praise God, 11 and 23, hallelujah. And they, praise God, also shall, uh, if they abide, and also the, the Jews too, if they continue to, in the unbelief, They'll be, you know, taken out the the, 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 the branches will be cast off too. But there'll be a time where God is going to grab the Jews back in. Praise God. And they're going to uh, turn by faith and accept Jesus. Praise God. 11.24, if thou wert cut off from the olive tree, this is weird, a wild olive tree by nature, and the washed, grafted contrary to nature into a good olive tree, this is a good olive tree into with the Jew. How much more shall these, which be natural branches of Jews, be grafted into their own tree? So God's going to graft them back in. They're going to accept the Lord. God's going to take the blindness off their eyes for, for Israel. Praise God. For I would not, brethren, that you should be ignorant. I don't want you ignorant of this is a mystery. You know, God is unveiling a mystery that's hidden from us. That she should be wise in your own conceit. You can't praise God. That blindness has happened to Israel until the fullness is the blind, until the fullness of the Gentiles come in. Praise God. Where well, God is calling the Gentiles to come in for salvation, there's a fullness. Praise God. I want you to be ignorant. So all, so all Israel, verse 26, 11, 27, be saved. As it is written, there shall come out of Zion the deliverer. Praise God. And he shall turn away the ungodly from Jacob. Praise God. God is going to, he's going to graft his people back in. He's going to restore Israel back in. Praise God. He had to open up a space for us on that olive tree to to uh, the people that unbelief to open up a way for the, the, the Gentiles, as we said before. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank God for Jesus. We're going to got a few more verses. Verse 28. As concerning the gospel, praise God. For they are enemies for your sake, but touching by the election, they are beloved for the Father's sake. For gifts and callings are without repentance. God gives gifts and callings. People have uh, uh, natural, have God gives gifts to whoever you want to give. Praise God. Callings. Some people have a gift of singing, speaking, and all kind of different gifts. And we can talent and come from the Lord. Uh, someone has a gift with repair, fixing things, or just all kind of gifts. They give naturally. How they be manifested through a person. But we use them for the Lord. Praise God. If you can, we use it for the Lord. Come without repentance. Some people, uh, 
for Romans 11, 3. For as ye in time past, uh, uh, this is speaking about us, have not believed God, the Jews, but ye have obtained mercy. This is the uh, people, unbelievers, but have obtained mercy through, yet have now obtained mercy through their unbelief. God has given us, opened the door for us, that we could come in. Uh, because of it, like I said before, have un they had unbelief, and it, uh, but God has opened the door for us. Verse eleven thirty one. Even so, have these also now now believe that through your your mercy, they also may obtain mercy. Praise God. Bless our mercy. They shall obtain mercy. Eleven thirty two. We got a few more verses. I'm just gonna read these verses out. For God has not God has concluded them all in unbelief that He might have mercy upon all. Praise God. Listen to the, oh, the depths. You know, I've, I've covered these uh, explaining. I don't want to keep explaining the same thing. Repetition over and over again. But oh, but the depths of the riches, both God has, oh, I tell you, riches of wisdom and under and knowledge of God. How unsearchable are his judgment and his ways past finding out. Praise God. I tell you, it's, it's my, so from the heaven, from the earth, past finding out. And if we lack wisdom, we ask from God. For who has known the mind of the Lord? Nobody who has been his counselor. Nobody who has and who has given to him, and it shall be recompensed unto him again. For for of him and through him and to him are all things to whom be glory forever. For everything exists because of the Lord. I thank the Lord for Jesus and his goodness and mercy, how through we were grafted into that olive tree. The natural olive tree, which was God's people, Jews, and He grafted in because of their unbelief. Praise God! But and then they opened salvation for us. Praise God! We're a wild uh, 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 olive tree by nature, was grafted in to to enjoy the benefits when we by faith we grafted in the benefits from the root that God offers. And God had wants to provoke this the Jews that don't believe uh, in Jesus uh, to, as He as they get to see how. God is using the Gentiles, uh, how born again, how the born again Gentiles encourage them to revoke them to jealousy, like like I mean to want Jesus in their life, to accept and see Jesus is real. He is real, and He's going to restore His people back to Him. God bless you. I just thank the Lord for the word that went forth. I hope there were some things in there that were sad. Praise God to encourage your heart. Praise God. Remember everyone in prayer. The uh, families are going through in these last evil days. Uh, Corona virus, but God is a God of all comfort. Praise God. We put our, we have to put all our, Bible says, trust in the Lord with all thy heart. Lean not to our own understanding, all that ways acknowledge Him. God knows our thoughts before I think, before we think Him. Praise God. It behooves to get you, uh, make your calling election sure. Praise God in these last and evil days. God bless you, Sister Vanessa. Lord's willing to be on next week. God should be on Wednesday. Bye bye, God. Keep me in your prayers. Bye-bye.